Good morning and welcome back to my channel. This is Future Jade um, popping in because Past Jade did not tell you guys anything. So I am a second year first grade teacher. I just moved to North Carolina and I am setting up my classroom. Good morning. I am headed to take Aspen to daycare and she's talking in the back kind of whining um, but I'm about to take her to daycare for the first time for just a few hours and then work on my classroom a little bit um, and then I'll see you guys there. Hi so I am in my classroom and I already came to put my things in here. I don't know if I'm talking too quiet but I already came and put all of my stuff in here with Wilson and his brothers and so um, I've already seen it but I'm going to show you guys and um, get to work. So this is the space before I like touch anything. This is all like things I need to go through with another teacher to see what it is. And then got all the desk in the middle. My stuff is way over there. And then the whiteboard is here. So we don't start school until like the end of the month. So I do have a little bit um, to work on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is like get everything off of the walls and clean. And I'll probably spend like most of this week, so I'm only like gonna be here for a few hours each day, most of this week getting everything off the walls and cleaned up. So that's the plan of action for um, today. about time to go pick up Aspen so I'm gonna be done here and I'll come back tomorrow um, pretty much just got everything off the walls um, scraped up the staples that were sticking out and then the glue that was like up here um, I'm just gonna have to cover the walls with a lot of paper because as you can see like a lot of the wall and paint has come off so that's the plan for tomorrow I'll see you then Good morning, it is Tuesday the next day. I just dropped Aspen off at daycare. A little easier today than yesterday. I had a hard time yesterday, um, but I'm about to head to my school and get started on the second day. Today I brought a snack and I brought a mop and like some mop, um, mop dry pads and some wet pads. And you guys might think I'm crazy, but I'm literally about to mop the walls. It's pretty thick up there and I just need to clean it all off so mainly what I'm going to be doing today the few hours that I am there is just cleaning 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 because there's a lot of stuff on the walls so that's my plan for today whenever I get there I'll show you guys kind of like um just watching cars coming in um I'll show you guys what I did yesterday and um maybe try and do a better job of talking on there. I'm not nervous for anyone at my school to see my videos or even see me like having the camera up while I'm doing something, but there's just something embarrassing to me about someone walking in on me talking to my camera. So I seem a little shy and awkward while I'm there. I'm so sorry. Um, hopefully with time that will get better because right now I'm just like, I hope someone doesn't walk in while I'm talking to my phone because I don't know. I that would just be embarrassing. So um, if you guys film YouTube videos and you have a trick for that or you just get over it, um, you can leave some encouraging advice below. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go there now and I will see you guys there.
Hi guys, so I'm at school. I've actually been here for about 45 minutes and I went ahead and dusted and mopped the walls and the blinds and kind of like got some webs out of the windows. We'll try. Um, so I'll show some clips of that. Um, I'm about to go ahead and dust the furniture, which I probably won't show. Um, and then I'm going to move the furniture and vacuum because I have to move all of my stuff to be able to get to this wall. And plus I just kind of want to set something up today so I leave feeling like something looks different because like the walls don't look much different unless you get close. Like I know they're different, but anyways, I'm about to do that. I'll probably show me like moving this stuff around and vacuuming, but um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I know it's only been like a second for you guys, but I moved some furniture like out of the way so I can figure out how I want to set up the chairs and I vacuumed, you saw me vacuum just like a little part. Um, so now I'm going to go peek in some other rooms and see how they set it up and then try and get my desk at least kind of how I want them to be. So I have like a less than an hour and that's pretty much my plan for the hours, just figuring out where I want my desk and if I'm lucky I might get my rugs out too. So. So I'm kind of stuck. I'll show you a figure around. So I got the desk and chairs down, but I'm not going to set them up yet because I had tables last year. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how I want to do it yet. I went ahead and rolled out the carpet so I knew like how much space I would have for desks. Um, but my issue is, is I have two of these kidney tables. I don't love them where I put them. I thought this could be like my desk area and that could be like small group area or maybe vice versa. I don't know. I would put one over here, but I really want this to be my library corner with the rug and everything. So I think I'm gonna get all my stuff onto this rug because I'm not gonna need anything up here because this will stay blank. And then, um, yeah, put everything up here and then set up like the rug and bookshelves over there so I know that's the library and kind of just set up zones and then um, and then maybe tomorrow I don't know like the other teachers desks aren't out yet so I can't really see how their room is set up and each classroom is different like no one else has the sink below the windows and some of the windows are like each classroom looks different so I don't know. I might have to get someone's help, or maybe you guys can help me if I haven't had it. If I don't have it set up at the end of this video, it's probably gonna change like a hundred times. But yeah, I'm just kind of stuck on because I don't have like an actual desk, but I have two kidney tables. I don't want to take up two areas of the room, but I don't want them right next to each other. That might look weird. So 
I don't know, I'm gonna get that stuff on the carpet and then kind of put my rug over there for the library. Um, and that's probably a bell I'm gonna do today. Hi guys, so it's actually Wednesday the next day. My phone died yesterday. Um, I'll show you what I got done. Um, I didn't really do much else after my phone died, but I'll go ahead and show you. So pretty much I just got that stuff off the wall. I had to stand on a desk and it was really scary, it fell off. Um, but I also rolled out my carpet. I need to fix it and vacuum it. I killed a cricket on it, um, but I rolled out my carpet and that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and fix the carpet, try and find a vacuum to vacuum it because the crickets on there are dead. Um, but then I'm not going to set up my library, but I'm going to go ahead and put the bookshelves over there so I just know that those are going over there. And then I think um, I'm going to keep this here because I kind of like it as like my desk and small group area. I think I'm going to do, I'm going to ask if I can get the kidney table, the other one over here this kidney table taken away because it's like taking up space where desks need to go and I really don't want two teacher areas. Um, I just, I would rather have like an open space for the kids. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do and I'll update you after. so excited. I asked the custodians if I could um, get rid of one of the kidney tables and so I got rid of the one over there. It was right here and it was like bulging out and I think it couldn't go there anyways because of the fire exit um, for the window. So I got rid of that one and then I put the, well I actually moved that one over here and then I got rid of the one that was here because this one matches my desk more. And so that's going to be my desk and my small group table and like my one teacher area. The only problem is, is if you look, this is like the phone and computer cord and I didn't see a, like a port anywhere else in the room. So if I have to have it here, I might bring my little desk from home as just like a computer and phone station. I don't know, but I'm pretty excited. I kind of put my shelves, I think you saw that, and then just added these chairs right here. Um, my husband built it backwards, but once I get the um, containers up, you won't really see the brown part, so it's fine. Can't can't have everything perfect. Um, I think I'm about to move this over here just for now. I'm not sure what I want to do with it. I might have it at the entryway to create kind of like a student center. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to move out of the way because next I'm going to go through all of this stuff. I'm going to get it out on the counters and separate it into things that I know I'll use and things I'm not sure about. And then I'm going to have um, my lead teacher who I met yesterday, she's super sweet, um, have her help me today or tomorrow go through some of the things that I'm not sure if I need to keep or um, what they are. And then I'll also go through that cabinet. I'm feeling a little nervous because I found some rat poop over there by the sink um, and on my stuff over here, which means there has been a rat since I've moved my stuff in, um, or mouse, maybe bat poop, I'm not sure. I'd ra honestly rather bat, just because, I don't know, I feel like they stay in the ceiling. Anyways, I'm afraid that I'm going to um, run into a little rat, so um, you may see me screaming in the next clip, we'll see. 
Okay, so I didn't film it, but I had some help getting all of this stuff out on here. And it's kind of organized, like, over here, stuff that I'm, like, math stuff I'm pretty sure I'm going to use. And then more towards over here is stuff that I um, need to, like, go through and maybe get rid of. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and clean, if you can see all that sticky stuff, I'm going to clean these shelves of dust and um, stickers and stuff. And then I'll start working through this. So um, I'll probably go ahead and do this off camera because you've seen me clean a lot already. And then um, I'll film me going through this. I probably won't get through all of this today though. Tomorrow will be the last day of this week that I set anything up. And I'll, like I said, I'll work on um, finishing cleaning all that up, all the residue, getting all this stuff organized and put back up there um, in a way that makes sense to me. And then um, that's probably going to take most of the time that I'll have here. Um, and then I might do something fun like put my alphabet up or something to end the week on like a fun note. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is Thursday, the last day of setup for this week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tackle the cubbies and shelves um, with some Duron and a scraper and get those all cleaned out. And then I'm going to start going through all of this and putting it back um, for now I'm just gonna go through it and put it back um, but I'm either gonna get curtains or new containers to make it look better up there okay so I tried to get most of it up but it's pretty stubborn but I got most of the numbers off I have to clean it up but this is kind of like all of the residue left over I think that's all I'm gonna do to clean it up for now um, I could probably spend another hour on it but uh, I'm just ready to see some progress so I'm gonna go and sweep that up and then work on this I've made a little bit of progress. I know that we're not using really any of that. That's all old. I just don't know if I can throw it away yet. And then those are not our curriculum. Like we don't have curriculum, but that we can use those math books, but we have to make copies of them. We can't actually use them. So kind of put like empty extra containers here for me to use for now or like store away um, just to keep in the classroom. And then I put all my computer stuff over here. I can't imagine I have to use all of that, but just put it in here until someone can help me with that. And then these are like books that don't match, but like the little thin readers. Um, I don't want to throw them away because I hate to throw away like any type of book, even if I'm not going to use them. So I'm just keeping these out for now. It's definitely getting better, but it's still overwhelming. I just hope I can get this done today and one thing put on the wall um, and then next week will be a much happier, um, more fun week. So Stuff has been in here like a while. I don't know when the last time like someone went through it is, but hopefully I'm not doing this just to move to another classroom or school next year. Hopefully I can reap the benefits for at least a couple years, but it's a lot of work. So I kind of separated out further. Um, I put the rest of the books here, so these are all like extra books that I'm not sure what to do with yet. Um, over here we have all kinds of like magnetic letters, magnetic word parts, like all of that. And then um, some cherries to manipulate the letters, and like I could probably use these as like sound boxes or circles. And then... Just some extra things that didn't even open. And then all of this is math manipulatives. Um, these are kind of like what was left over of the bags that they made. I'll have to go through these and like make my own uniform bags because there's like several different versions of little math kits. Um, but this is just all math manipulatives, some clocks, um, some random money. I don't know where the rest of the money is, but. Um, lots of bingo sets, which is fun. And then 
um, some games. I really like this for like a stimpin, so I'm excited about this. And then I have a bunch of these as well, so I'll probably use um, this as like a stimpin or a couple different ones. And then some extra whiteboards, and then different like math mats and big mat things. Um, and then some extra paper, and then like gifts slash recess stuff. And then I have random extra supplies and office supplies over here. Some more math manipulatives, and then all of the containers. And then I put these two like guided math binders up here for when I go through um, the filing cabinet. And then anything I found like laminated that looks like a center, I put over here to go through as well because I don't want to throw it away. Someone spent like some hard work on that. So someone put some time and effort into that. So I at least want to go through it. They're not labeled, so it makes it hard. But at least want to go ahead and go through it and see what I can use um, in my classroom. And then I also have to go through this. But I'm going to save the filing cabinet and this cabinet for next week because... This has got me down and I really want to try and end on a happy note. So I'm going to just put all this back up there, just like a section of math and a section of reading stuff and extra. And then I'll look at what I have and kind of make sense of things and put things together and um, in different containers, some of it. Um, but that'll be next week. So right now I'm just going to get all this back up here and then hopefully I'll have time to put something up. So. Okay, so here is the progress for the end of week one. I left these books here because um, I know they're definitely not going to go anywhere up there. Um, I got all this stuff up there. And then I left this over here because this is like office slash my desk stuff. Um, and then just a couple of extra like that's kind of with containers and that's just completely random. And I'm probably not going to use those. Um, so that is what is left over here and the containers, of course, and the globe. Um, I'm pretty sure, unless I can throw this stuff away, like this is going to stay here because I'm not even going to use it. So it can be behind the door. And then this is all math. I'm going to put these in new containers um, and organize it better, but it's here for now. That'll be like kind of like towards the end of setup that I fix this because I need a break from it, honestly. And then this is all like letter manipulation, magnets, those kind of things, which I'd really like to put in my um, cabinet back here so I can grab one and do in small groups. But for now it's here. Um, some recess stuff, random um, clipboards, and that's definitely not gonna stay there, just there for now. And then just extra paper, markers, crayons. So the clipboards, whiteboards, all this extra stuff that are for students, I think I'm gonna put in here. And this is gonna be like a student center with everything they can grab. And I'll have this probably to make like a little walkway and put um, contact paper on it. And then I just put my letters up. I don't have enough time to put them up because I've got to go get Aspen, but I just put them on the whiteboard to see how the spacing would work. I'm gonna have to start past the actual whiteboard for it to be even, which is fine, but I just put that up to make myself a little happy and have a little color when I come in here on Monday. And um, we're not open, the school isn't open on Fridays during the summer. So this is all my stuff. I know it gets worse before it gets better. So I'm hoping that this week was the getting worse part and then Monday we'll start to clean it up and um, start making it look like home, so.
think I've got a lot of the hard work out of the way. So next week will be a lot more fun. And I can't wait to see you guys then. So make sure you subscribe so you can see week two and probably week three and maybe week four or half of another week before school starts. And to see how the room comes together. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.